Hi, everyone, and welcome back to The Rush. My next guest is in a great film you can see in theaters right now. It is called The Husband by director Bruce McDonald, and she's also in a couple of hit shows, 19.2 and also Remedy. Sarah Allen is joining me now. Sarah, how are you? Hi, I'm good. You must have had a very busy year to have three things out all at the same time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> fortunately, we, we don't shoot them all at the same time, so, <laughs> yeah, they were spread out. Uh, let's talk about uh, Remedy first. I had a couple of yep. your co-stars here uh, a couple of weeks ago. Nice. It is a great show. It's a great show. It is. And it's, it's one of those uh, really stressful shows to watch because it takes place in a hospital. At least I get stressed. My blood yeah. pressure gets higher when it's I'm watching it. It's a family dynamics. It is. We're <laughs> looking at it some right, uh, right now. It does have some family dynamics. And maybe you can tell us about Remedy and who you play on the show. Uh, I play a character named Sandy Connor. She's an ICU nurse. She's the eldest of uh, three siblings who work at the hospital, all at the same hospital. So there's um, uh, Mel. It's been a while since we shot the show. And I've, <laughs> um, there's Mel, played by Sarah Canning. Uh, she's um, a surgeon. And there's uh, my brother, uh, Griffin, played by Dylan Casey. And he's uh, a porter at the hospital. So and then my dad also works at the hospital. He's like the, the, the head of, of um, the, like the head doctor. And played by Enrico Colantoni. Amazing. And Matt Ward, who was here, he plays my fiance, who also works at the hospital in the ER. It's like, it's a well, big I had a chance event. to talk uh, to Sarah and Matt about yeah. it, but what was it like for you doing the training that you guys had to do to shoot this series? Because, of course, being a medical drama, you have to make it look and sound real. Yeah. Yeah, so we had to do some like CPR on each other. Like the first day we met, you know, we all like shook hands <laughs> and then had to like, get on the floor and pump each other's chests and and uh, it was fun. It was really fun. Must be really yeah. fun. Yeah, I guess like as an actor, you're like, I don't. know, It's kind of exciting to to do to something. New. It yeah. Must help you get into character too when yeah, you exactly. get to do that kind of training. Makes you feel like authentic. You're like, I could actually go save someone's life right now. <laughs> Wait, it probably is not true. And 192, uh, starring Adrian Holmes and mm -hmm. Jared Kiso, they yeah. were also on the show a while ago. I'm a big fan of both of them. What was yeah. it like to work with those two? They're both very funny guys. I know. Um, <laughs> Jared is the only person I really got to work with on the show because uh, I don't. Um, I, I played his kind of long distance girlfriend, so <laughs> usually my scenes involved like flashbacks and stuff. So I just got to spend a lot of time with Jared Kiso, which was awesome. Nobody would complain about no that. No one would complain. Okay, let's get to the reason why you're here today. Uh, the movie is called The Husband. Yeah. Uh, it is by director Bruce McDonald, mm -hmm. and I hear it was a little bit of a whirlwind when you were uh, cast in this. Yeah, uh, I uh, found out about the project, uh, read the script, um, I was out of town at the time, so I put myself on tape the same day. And I think uh, Dan Beckerman, the producer, actually asked me to do all the scenes. He's like, just do all the scenes. And for those who <laughs> don't know, when an actor puts put stuff on tape, yeah. you really just, you know, you have to, it's yeah. just like you're filming the movie. Exactly. you got a camera in a room. Showing them a performance. Yeah. 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 Um, so. So did you do all of the scenes? I did all the scenes. <laughs> I did all the scenes. We added a few more in. Um, uh, later on after the the film was edited together so didn't do all the scenes that you see but um yeah I did all the scenes and then and then I think it was like two days later or something I found out that I had to fly to Toronto the next day to film the next day really yeah it was wild I mean totally exciting at the yeah. same time but I guess it, it, not getting a ton of prep time I mean how much pressure does that put on you before you go to camera you've only got a couple days to prepare yeah well fortunately um, I knew the lines because I'd done all the scenes for the audition <laughs> you prepped. Maybe, maybe that was why <laughs> Beckerman wanted me to do it is because he wanted me to be ready um, yeah so I'd, I knew all my lines uh, and the character I, I think it was maybe better that I didn't have a lot of time to prepare because uh, it's easy to overthink things sometimes, and yeah. I, I just really wanted to play her as as a woman who made a horrible mistake and let the audience decide whether or not she she um, she was you know uh, uh, worthy of forgiveness. So well, let's talk about the yeah. film a little bit. It is called The Husband, yeah. and uh, tell us about your character and that decision that she made and the big mistake. Um, okay, well, I don't know how much we should reveal. Yeah, I don't know. Either. I know. I know. I know. It's it's tough. Um, well, the film is about the husband. It um, played by Max McCabe Locos, who also wrote the film. Um, which is He's fantastic. Cool. He's amazing. Yeah, 
I've, I think I have crushes on all my co-stars. It's by the just way. the way it works, that. right? Um, <laughs> uh, no, Max is great, uh, and he wrote the film and he starred in it. And it's really about him. It's about this man who has been completely emasculated by his wife, um, and because she is, she is, she's cheated on him. She's betrayed him. And um, uh, the crime that she's committed, the betrayal, uh, ended her up in prison. Mm -hmm. um, it's revealed pretty early in the film. So I think we can say that part. Yeah, so she, 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 she slept with her 14-year-old student. She's a school teacher. So she went to prison, and she's about to get out to, uh, in two weeks. And we have to, we kind of watch what what the husband is going through as he's waiting for his wife to. Well, I think that brings us nicely to the clip. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's have a look. This is when, uh, obviously, her husband visited her in jail in The Husband. Welcome back to the big house. Only two weeks to go. Hey, did you miss me? Did you miss your mommy? Look at me, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, your cheeks are cold. Hey, close your eyes. Keep them closed. Okay. Rest him on. Yeah. That's, that's funny. No, oh, you're not gonna wear it? Yeah, save it for special occasions. I was kidding, Bozo. You don't have to wear it. Sorry, it's funny. Come on, don't apologize. And that is a scene from The Husband, which you can see in theaters now. Now, I mentioned off the top, it's directed by Bruce McDonald. Yep. He's a bit of a legend uh, in this country as far as directing goes. What was it like to work with him? Uh, working with Bruce was great. Uh, he's, he's, he's just like a, I don't know, a, a gentle kind of calming presence to be around. He doesn't... Um, he doesn't. He doesn't like get in the way of the creative process at all. He is very quiet and makes you feel very comfortable to to suggest things and to be, kind of, uh, yeah, to to give on set. And he's with the, he's like that with everybody. He's like that with the crew and the makeup and the wardrobe and, and mm -hmm. the other actors. He's he was just like open to any suggestions and would consider them and you know make the make the decision ultimately. But um, yeah, it was it was really nice to work with him. It felt. You felt like you're kind of part of a team, like you collaborate with him. And the interesting thing about this film uh, and the script is that these stories, we've all read them. Yeah. And there have been movies made about them before, but they really usually are told by the female perspective, at least in the mm -hmm. film sense, the movies. But it was so interesting to me to see this from the husband's perspective, yeah. the reverse angle of how we usually see this stuff. Uh, what was it like for you to play the evil person in this because well she yeah yeah no, she's done a bad thing um and yeah she's she's definitely the um the uh the source of a lot of pain for the lead character um but i think that the the, the, the way that that max wrote this script he he really made sure that every character had like you know a good and a bad side and also th the way that he a, like my character feels a lot of uh, resent, resentment, no, that's not the word, regret. She, yeah. She, yeah, she regrets what she did and she she feels bad and she, she's apologizing and she served her time and she's really waiting to be to be uh, forgiven or, or just, uh, she's, she's waiting for him. I, th I think that he's, he's written a character who's done something bad but has, has made amends. What was it like for you as an actor, because your your co-star, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. wrote the script, to be yeah. playing a role written by someone who's I was right a there little worried you. about it. <laughs> I was at first, but the, I, as soon as we started working together, Max is um, Max was, I think, at that point um, in the project, he was he just wanted to focus on acting. He just wanted to be mm -hmm. there as an actor and not mm -hmm. as a writer. He worked very hard on the script, and I guess he, he's got to let the baby go. At exactly, some point. yeah. And some things just, and I think he's been on enough projects to know that sometimes, you know, things just don't work as well in when you're shooting as they do on the on the page. Yeah. So yeah, we we stuck as close to the script as possible, and if think, something wasn't working, yeah, uh, I would suggest something or Max would suggest something, and we'd change it. It was really really easy. Yeah. 
And what was it like when it premiered at festivals? The film has been very well received. Yeah. Uh, Toronto International Film Festival, it also uh, right here in Whistler at the Whistler Film Festival. But what was it like for you? Uh, did you attend any of the premieres? Have you watched it with an audience? I would imagine that whether you're a good or bad character in a movie, that would be kind of a weird experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, the first the first time I saw it was at the film festival in Toronto, uh, with a huge huge audience, a full house, and and. So I sort of, I sort of was like, I don't know, half watching it. But I, I was so proud of the film already. Just, just I thought the script was so great, and and for me it was a, a great, like, really special for me to work with Bruce, and I love his work, and and I was happy with my performance in the film. So al already, so and it had been a great experience to work on it. So I was, I was really looking forward to working on it, and I, I don't, I think I've seen it now three times, all with audiences. And each time, I'm I'm able to kind of um, <laughs> to relax a bit more and enjoy the film a bit more. Yeah, must be hard to remove yourself from it, though. Yeah, yeah. I think the first time I watched it, I was like, ah, <laughs> the whole me. time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, there I am. <laughs> okay, I so you live in Toronto. You live, went to school in Montreal, yeah. uh, but you were born and raised here in Nelson, BC. Nelson, BC. So what do you do when you come back here to Vancouver? You're visiting family. Is yeah. there any must-do, must-have kind of things as a former uh, BC girl that you, you just desperately miss? Yeah, I, I love to go to the mountains. Like, I need to get onto a mountain. Yesterday, I went snowshoeing at Cyprus with my, my best friend. That was awesome. I've been skiing a couple times already when I was in Nelson. And so you're still a BC girl at heart? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm fine in the city in Toronto. I, I enjoy Even it. this winter? No, oh, okay, that was tough. <laughs> but, you know, it got to the point in Toronto where it was so cold for so long that I just, like, I lost all hope. Of like, like it was just like it became like I'm just gonna sit here and and, and well, I was to talking like to some forever. of my friends, and it was so cold with the yeah. polar vortex that uh -huh. you had to put on a snowsuit to even survive <laughs> going to a store. How did you survive? It like, was like, I a wore a snow pizza snowsuit forever. Yeah, that, and that's that's what happened. <laughs> I, I ate a lot of pizza. I wore snowsuits, um, and and I'm so glad it's spring almost here in Vancouver. Well, at least you get to be here for. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining Thanks me today. For me. And congrats on all your work. Uh, as we mentioned off the top, you can see uh, Sarah, she's currently in Remedy, and uh, I think 19-2 is already aired. It's but, still airing. Yeah, it's still nice. airing. Uh, and you can also see The Husband, if you want to check it out, it is at Pacific Cinematheque uh, until March the 27th. You can go to the website to find out more information on where it will be near you. It is thehusbandfilm.com. We're going to take a quick break uh, and be back with more on The Rush right after this. Don't go away.